Today we're fine. Today we're finally doing it. Today we're finally going on the cruise and we're so excited. We woke up in the Hilton, so we've got an all-inclusive buffer before we get on the cruise. I had a full English for my first plate and blue waffle for my second plate. We got a coach ride for the next hour to get to the docking station. It was giving Dave's coaches. We finally arrived at our... Yo, real quick, can you tell me real quick, what do you mean by blue waffle? If you guys have never been in the golden age of the internet, which was about around 2011 to 2014, blue waffle was a very, very beautiful picture. A very beautiful picture. Everybody knew about it. Everybody told you about it. Uh, right after that, they would say, hey, you know about two girls, one cup? Or they would go, the one guy, one jar. You know, to be honest, dude, I feel like a lot of us children ruined our entire childhoods just from those videos because at one point in time those things were just very easy to see on the internet i guess it still is pretty easy to see this stuff on the internet nowadays but i think you gotta look for it or like i remember when i was a kid uh, we used to we had laptops at our school that we went to and i remember when my friend or anybody went to go use the bathroom whatever they would leave their laptop obviously and i would just open up their laptop and type in meatspin.com close the close the laptop and they would come back it would just be you know, they had been watching meatspin.com for five minutes because they had gone to the bathroom and come back. Uh, meatspin.com is a website where a guy's just spinning dick while uh, having anal sex with another man. I think the website's still up, by the way. Good, good shit for the internet. But, uh, you know, Corey seems like he's going a little bit overboard on those blue waffles real quick. Let me look at For the next hour to get to the docking station, it was given Dave. Yeah, that Nutella kind of a little bit overboard. How many, what is it, like 100 calories per teaspoon? How many teaspoons is this? Like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six teaspoons? Of Nutella on this thing, God damn, Corey, that is all really far. Anyway, coaches, we finally arrived at our cruise ship, and it's time to board some print. At least he didn't drink any alcohol, and he didn't get a burger. At least he didn't do that. Princess. This is the gang we're with. They're a lush bunch. And we even got some goodie bags. We had to tour around the oh, ship. never mind. What was I talking about? Of course, you always got to get a burger. But we had to stop the tour halfway Damn. through. We were starving. I went for cheeseburger and chips. Oh, this was 10 out of 10. Damn, bro. A whole pizza to yourself, my dude? Yeah, that pizza is dry as hell. That shit look dry as fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Drier than your girlfriend's vag when I tell her that she got a, I got a Lego addiction. But uh, it's most definitely dry as hell. I just had a quick pizza from room service before tea tonight at the Love Restaurant. You know you're in a posh restaurant when you have bread. Bread and cheat, bread and chocolate. Now my personal favorite. I wouldn't be ordering this shit. But hey, man, it's up to them. Rolls. I've never Bro seen heart shaped bread rolls. Steak looks good, dude. Steak looks pretty good. I'll give them that. I, if I was on an all inclusive paid trip, it looks like I believe these people didn't have to pay any price for their for their tickets on this, the cruise. Um, I would be ordering everything, dude. What are you talking about? I would have the Indonesian dudes showing up to my door, asking me if I want room service. Yeah, bro, come in, stay on. You know what, dude? Just wait outside the door. I'ma literally have you refresh this cart like every 25 minutes. Uh, once I'm done with this food, just have the next guy come up. You guys are literally just gonna be on like a revolving door. Uh, how much you get paid per an hour? Doesn't matter. Just keep bringing the food to the door because why wouldn't you? I think I think they get free room service. I'm pretty sure. Free room service. Uh, because they're paid par uh, partnerships here. Room service, uh, you get the all the food down in the bu buffets, as, as they say. And it's not buffets, apparently. But buffets. And they also have tons and tons of restaurants that they, I guess, can eat at free, too, as well. Which is uh, crazy, uh, beautiful, amazing, spectacular. I would literally run it up the tab. It's free for me. Why wouldn't you do that? And I think... Corey's probably taking advantage of that fully. I don't know why you wouldn't, though. Walls before. I didn't have any of the starters because I'm not really, like, into posh food. Had... True. I'm not into posh food either. How can you say you're not into posh food? This is so disrespectful, man. If I rolled up to, to a restaurant and they gave me a piece of a strawberry, what, one strawberry, dude? That's it, dude? What is this, huh? What is this right here? Nuts? Nuts, bro? You gave me some nuts and this? I'll be so disrespectful, bro. Look. I know that when you are rich and you have money, you like the finer things in life. So it's not so much about the qual it's not so much about the quantity of the food, but it has as much as is it is about the quant the quality of the food, right? I get it. I totally understand that. But to one degree, uh, I think that that's irrelevant. I think that this is stupid. I think that people that spend as much money as they do on some regular ass strawberries, by the way, non-GMO strawberries as well. These strawberries are literally just basic strawberries. Uh, I wouldn't be paying any money for this. Thank God they're thank God they're getting all this shit for free. Steak for That's me, dumb. and it was by far the nicest steak I've ever had in my life. I had a cheese board and some chocolate for dessert, and this. Why were they putting it on top of the the? It was by far though. the nicest steak I've ever had in my life. I 
What is this? Is this edible as well? This like towel or whatever this is? This looks like, is this not food? I'm guessing this is food. Obviously I saw him eat this and this, but why is this here? Who the fuck, who the fuck writes their name on the bottom of, of a plate? Like, why are you that proud about the plate that you made, dude? Who like the Indonesian dude that made it in the factory wrote down his name before he put it out to you? Or is this just like the chef or something like that? It's a plate, bro. It's not like it does anything special. You're supposed to put food on top of it. I had a cheese board and some chocolate for dessert, and this was unreal. As much as the food's been lush. Damn, dude. Fucking Lee is always so incredibly dark, bro. Looking like a Latina through and through. And it's crazy because you guys don't have sun over there, but GG on the I one. can't wait to neck the free drinks. I'm Whoa, necking the free drinks, man. If somebody said I'm about to neck something, I'm thinking about something else. On the body readies. How stunning does Leah look? Vogue, if you're watching, you need to get her on the front cover. We had a few... Becky's been looking a little bit, uh, Becky's been looking a little bit different ever since I've been seeing her on other people's stuff. Um, the images that have been coming out, the way that other people have been seeing her and not her camera. Because if you guys don't know, the people that are on this cruise right now, so Corey, Leah, and Charlie Ann, they don't use those filters. They don't. Um, but Becky, Becky uses those filters consistently. By the way, I don't understand why Becky even bothered getting hair done if she was just going to wear it like how she usually wears it in general. Um, but one thing I will say about Becky is that she's been opening up. Uh, it looks like she's been having some fun. It looks like Corey has actually taken a liking to Becky, which is great because I don't think Becky Jones has any, uh, has many friends at all. I think that she's a very closed in individual. I think she just really has her friend, uh, her family and then maybe like one or two people outside of that, but it doesn't seem like she really takes advantage of any of those people in terms of like hanging out. So it's great that she has an outlet here in a new group of friends. That's awesome. Um, I do think that they all have one thing in common, which is terrible, disgusting diets. Corey can get away with it to one degree or another because he's like, what, fucking six foot four? And he's a bigger guy. He's a, a wider dude. He has a lot more shoulder mass, so he can afford to eat way more calories. But for somebody like Becky, who I think is a small goyle in terms of height, she's wide. She's got a lot of bone capacity. But the images that have been coming out for her... Ooh, um, not exactly the most flavorful. I don't know why Becky's got to lie about it so heavily, dude. It's okay um, that you use filters. It's okay that you're insecure about your body. It's fine. But she lies about it so heavily. I don't care that she uses filters. I just care that she lies about it so often. Cheeky shots. Becky's fitting with us like a glove. Are you smiling right now? Michael Stop. Jackson. She's one of us now. True. No matter where we go in the world, we always end up meeting you guys. And we're beyond grateful for all the support. After our drinks, Ooh. it was only one thing to do. Get on the dance floor for the boogie. We had the best night ever. No night's complete without food at the end of it. True. Obviously, Damn, we... bro. You guys is out here literally getting room service, spilling the drinks Loads on the... Of room on the... Service. You know, look, dude. I think that if you guys are going to have room service, it's fine. But don't you guys... I'm pretty sure, actually, when they did a room tour... I saw that they had a table. I saw that they were they had a couch. I saw that they had a they, they had a whole setup there so they could put the food out. But it seems like they just ignored that instead. Damn, bro, how many slices of cake is this? Four slices of cake. One, two, three. I think it's four here. Four slices of cake and a burger, and then and burger and fries for each of you. Damn, bro, how many sprites? Jesus, bro, how many how many calories is each one of these slices of cake? At least eight hundred, right? People sleep on how many calories cake has. A lot. Cake is quite dense. Uh, damn, bro. On the bed, though? You guys got a problem, bro. What are you eating this shit on the bed? This, we practically got the menu. Burger and chips. Chicken strips. Damn, loads bro. Look at this setup, bro. I think it's a slice of cake right here. Okay, what it looks like is they got one and one. So, one chocolate, one vanilla. One chocolate, one vanilla. And you know what I don't understand, though? Corey doesn't seem to understand this. But you being a grown man, that's six foot four. By the way, great job on that, dude. Really picked your parents well on that. Uh, six foot four, that's amazing. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. Great head of hair. Uh, gorgeous, in my opinion. Very good looking man. Um, he got to do something a little bit about the, the bottom of his chin. I don't know why he cuts it like that. He has like a chin strap. Very 2000-esque. For a long time, I thought he was gay because of the way he dresses with those platform converse and the way he sounds, the way he talks, the way that he, you know, flirts with other people. I thought he was gay for a really long time. I thought he was just one of the girls. I thought that for a really long time. A lot of people told me too. When I first started reacting to Corey, a lot of people were like, yeah, he's gay. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, totally looks gay. He looks like a background dancer from like NSYNC from 2003. But uh, he's not gay apparently. He has a girlfriend and they like love each other and stuff like that, which is great by the way. But uh, it seems like, I don't even know what we were talking about initially, but, uh, yeah, when you're a guy that's six foot four, you can afford to eat more calories cause you're a bigger man. But, uh, Leah on the other side, not so much. She's a smaller girl by a substantial amount and she can't fill up that same space that you can, bro. So when you eat the food, 
that's fine. By the way, Jesus Christ, how many pickles did you put on this burger? Like fucking five, five or four fucking pickles on this thing. You can eat that, and you'll probably be okay. Probably she'll still shouldn't eat it. Um, by the way, French fries and you had chips? Crazy. You can eat that, and it would be probably okay with you. But for her to eat that, mm, not so much, bro. You guys are two different people. I, I think it's something to think about. Cake. <laughs> Guys, we've just ordered room service. I think we did go OTT, but it's free at the end of the day. True. <laughs> if it's free, it's for me, dude. I, I would be, I would be doing it too, dude. Why the fuck not? You getting free room service? If this is all sponsored by the company of the cruise, bro, fuck it, dude. Get those fucking Indonesian dudes coming to my door, dude. They're gonna be, they're gonna be there all night. <laughs> all night, dude. 100. percent I'm putting food in my pockets, dude. I'm literally walking out the cruise with heavy pockets, dude. Four yeah. bottles of water. Damn. Damn. A few moments later. I just ordered a whole bottle of water and wine. Cool, is that normal? Uh, it looks like they're fucking blasted. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised, dude. Corey and Leah got a serious alcohol problem, man. Uh, it seems like also I was right about the consistent alcohol abuse over there in the UK. Apparently, it's really common. I had not known it was a part of the culture. But for Corey and Leah, they drink a lot, man. And even Charlie Ann, they just drink and drink and drink. And one thing I've seen, actually, since Becky, Corey, Leah, and, and, and all the, the whole gang has been hanging out is that Becky can't really drink as much as these people can, um, which... <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. They probably built up tolerance over years and years and years of drinking all these copious amounts of alcohols. But whenever I see Becky drinking the alcohol, she always tastes like one sip. And then everybody else is like downing their alcohol consistently. But I'll give it that. She's at least trying. She's at least trying. Um, I wouldn't try to be an alcoholic like these people. But at least she's like trying to get friends and things like that. But I'm not surprised because every one of his videos, as you guys know, Corey starts him off with, Oh my God, guys, I've done it again. I've drunk too much last night. And right now, all I need is a Mackey's and a burger. That's him every single time. So I'm not surprised that they're like fucking blasted right now. Thank God she's drinking some, uh, some water though, dude. Her, her liver got to be literally dried the fuck up from all that alcohol. No, this is the food we've got. Oh, Damn. Shit. Ah, How the hell did you do that? How That's mine. Uh, just so slow. How, how did you do that? I don't know how to do it. Uh, baby, I need you to help me take this off. Otherwise, how am I going to be able to do it? Please take off the lid from this. Jesus. Man, you're about to wrestle this thing. Calm down. How do you do that? Dude, she's fucking gone. She's gone, bro. Look at her fucking face. She's so gone. Just, just looking at the burger with her hands up like this. Like she's Ricky Bobby. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> no help. Thanks, Thank you. Oh, my God. Cheers. <laughs> and we go. They seem like a good couple, bro. I love it, dude. I honestly love it, man. I hope they never break up. One thing I really hate about, like, couple channels on YouTube or any social medias in general is that you're almost kind of, like, forced to stay together because you guys made your whole social media career together, right? And a lot of people love that, and they love you guys together. And a lot of the fans that, like, really grew watching you um, probably have some type of you know, feelings towards you guys together and then you break up and, you know, it's tough, man. A lot of couple channels have problems like that. And it sucks, sucks a lot of dick, but they seem okay. They, you know, this is from the outside looking in. They seem like they have a lot of compatibility. They don't seem like they argue quite a bit. Um, they're together consistently, which is great if that's how they want to occupy their relationships. I personally don't like that, um, being together consistently like this, but it's cool they're on holiday and stuff. I don't got how you open these. Go with a hammer. Damn, bro. Struggling like fuck, bro. Cheesecake. Damn. Wow. That's not how you open it, bro. It's some sad That's ass shit. That is cool. Some sad shit, bro. This dude's wrestling with the fucking lid on that thing. Another cheesecake. I got cheesecake. Chicken strips. I've Damn, learned. bro. Chicken strips too, dude. So a burger and fries. Chicken strips. Like four slices of cake. Four cans of Sprite. God damn, bro. You killing that shit. Good lord, bro. You about to leave this, this whole journey an extra 50 pounds up. 
Dude, she's um, gone, dude. It looks like this woman doesn't even know where back. she is. And crisps. That's random. Like actual crisps. They said potato chips on the menu. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm mm. the queen. Chocolate cake. And we've got quesadillas. Why? Damn, bro, you guys ordered a fucking lot. They got the whole, they got the whole chefs down there slaving for just these people. And then we went and listened to some live music. You can't even imagine the dudes down there like, we got 15 orders. We got 15 orders. Hurry up and cook it. Be like, good lord, man, who is ordering all these foods? Do we have a whole like? How many families are out there? And it's, no, it's not families. It's Corey and his girlfriend. Good lord. Good lord, let me see. You have to check out there. It's just them with the door open, consistently just waiting for their food to be delivered. And then we went to a nightclub. And Damn. Honestly, Did we listen to live music? Uh, Did yeah, we listen to like music? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so cool. Can I please have the last chicken chip? He is on How Was It Made? And we used to love that program. If you want it, That's say so now for all you're digging with you. I can't he's eat. holding up to her mouth and he's telling her that you gotta eat this shit before I'm about to body slam this he shit. Be the guy behind there you go, right there. In his mouth, gone, bro. I Lost the opportunity. Savage. Sorry, Hi, sis. Driver. Sorry, sis. I gotta body slam this shit. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband, whacked him. Guys, we're going out for tea in a minute, but me and Becky are hungry, so mm. we've just got a few snacks. A mm. few snacks, bro? A slice of pizza? Dude. Can we just talk about this for a second? I'm so sick of seeing this shit. I'm so sick of people ordering nachos and having the cheese on top of the nachos unmelted. You got literal, like, grated cheese on that shit straight from the fridge. You didn't even try to melt that? Is there not a microwave back there at all? You didn't bother, like, hey, can you warm up the... Don't you have unlimited free food? You can't tell the dudes to warm it up even a little bit? Don't they have, like, those big, giant, long, hot lights that you used to have in the Easy Bake Ovens to warm up your food? Can't you just have those dudes... Just slightly warm it up, dude. You got literal cold ass cheese on top of chips. What is the purpose, dude? That shit's so irrelevant, man. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> um, so we got cheesy nachos we're gonna share. Cheesy nachos that are literally, look at the cheese is unmelted. You guys are literally just eating cold ass chips on some cold ass cheese. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Get your shit, to get, get, get your shit together, bro. And we got a slice of pizza each and they did doner kebab tonight. <laughs> so we've got some doner kebab. Take away. What I really want to know is, I thought, because people were telling me when they were going to go on this cruise, that they were going to go to different ports and they were going to be exploring the nearby realms and understanding the culture and things such and so forth. Nah, that's not what happened at all. These people are literally just on the cruise consistently eating at the buffets, which is exactly what I said. People were saying like, no, David, they're going to have other fun stuff to do on the cruise. Like what? They have done nothing. They've literally, all they've done is show up at different restaurants across the entire boat and then just eat there consistently over the period of three or four days. That's all they've done. They haven't gone anywhere. I guess they watched Mean Girls, but can you imagine saying like, I went on the cruise and I watched Mean Girls? Dude, you could have done that. It's on Netflix right now. What are you doing, bro? You're literally just wasting time if that's the case. But the entire... The entire cruise has just been defined by eating tons and tons of food, free food, which is great, I guess, um, and then looking out at the ocean and then drinking copious amounts of alcohol. You could have literally done that at your crib, bro, but I guess it was free. But a lot of people were giving me shit for that. They were like, oh, no, David, she's going to actually, actually have fun. No, they're actually going to do stuff on the cruise. Well, they didn't. Well, they fucking didn't, dude. They didn't. All they did was eat food for the entire thing and get, and get drunk. So, don't come at me, bro. I know what I'm talking about, dude. This is UK culture. I'm basically a UKian right now, actually. From, like, all the consumption of these people. By the way, these are the people I look at when I, people go, Well, do you like people from the UK? I love Corey. I love Becky Jones. Yes, of course I do. Nice. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I also think it's great that Corey is hanging out with Becky. It seems like she's a very lonely girl. Um, Charlie Ann, uh, I don't know if she's hanging out very often. Maybe she has other friends on the cruise. I saw that there was a whole bunch of other people that came about, uh, came on the cruise too with them. So maybe she's hanging out with them too. But at least Corey's hanging out with Becky while his girlfriend is literally like dusted in the fucking bed over like drinking five times the legal limit of alcohol. It seems like Corey can handle the alcohol a little bit more. My, my philosophy here, my idea of why Leah can't handle the alcohol compared to Corey is that the reason... Lee is always just perpetually dusted and and Beck uh, and Corey's not is because they're probably drinking the same amount of alcohol but Corey's like a grown man like a giant grown man big man uh and he can probably handle the alcohol a little bit more uh compared to Leah who literally can't mm. it's good as well yeah, it's so nice isn't it and the garlic the garlic mayo 
if you know you know what i really don't understand right uh maybe he just doesn't want to be around becky or whatever like why don't you guys if you want to do a video with becky can we have the camera be slightly over just a little bit so we can see a little bit of the bexter um also why isn't she sitting at the end of the table why didn't you guys like it seems like it's pretty empty in here why didn't you guys just put the the camera on the horizontal part instead of like you know i'm talking about the longer part of the table have that hooked up there so that way you guys can both be sitting together and eating the food instead of having becky off the corner here like some kind of fucking weird muppet like you can't see her bro we just can't see her. This is really fucking awkward. Like, I'm getting... Is, is she just, like, that insecure? She knows that Corey doesn't have a filter on her camera, on his camera, that she cannot be visible? We already know what you look like, Becky. We've seen the pictures. We've seen the videos. We know what you really look like now. It is what it is, okay? The truth is out. It's fine, Becky. We all accept you for who you are. But why does you have to have this video be so incredibly cropped down like this, dude? Turn the camera. Turn it. Turn the fucking camera, dude. That's amazing. I don't really like cheese. Pizza, huh? Nachos, huh? Oh, really? You don't like cheese? Pizza and nachos? Ah, oh. oh, smells like you might like a little bit of cheese. Cheers. I have to put you on a window, so back here is there, but... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Do you not have, like, a bipod or something like that? You would have thought that these guys are, like, this is their entire job. You can just buy a bipod off Amazon for like $5 and just have it standing up and you can adjust the height and stuff like that. Like, so I don't know what, the, whatever the fuck they're talking about, dude. It's bullshit. It's just bullshit, dude. If you don't sit there and be like, oh yeah, we had to put, that's an excuse. That's an excuse, bro. We all know the real reason. You don't want Becky to be seen. You know that Becky's insecure about her body. It is what it is, man. Just download the same filter app that she's got, dude. I get it. It's going to cook your, it's going to cook your CPU on your phone. It is what it is, dude. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's just regular. We've got the nachos and cheese. We're gonna do a taste test. Cheers. Fucking big as hell, dude. Crazy as hell, man. Mm. It's just, it's just literal cold ass cheese on some cold ass fucking chips, dude. It's not good. Don't, don't sit there and go, mmm. -mm. It's not, it's not, mmm. -mm. It's some dry ass chip with some cheese, dude. Before we start this video, if you. Man. Becky always <laughs> kind of weird whenever, whenever it's somebody else's camera. Mm. Before we start. Everybody here, you know what? I'm happy that their friend group is so awesome and great. And and one of the reasons also I thought that Corey was gay was because he hangs around with a lot of girls, right? You guys remember in high school, there was always that one dude that hang around more girls than dudes. And everybody just kind of thought he was gay. Oh, is this guy one of the friends too? This Indonesian fella over here? What's his name, dude? I don't know, but whatever. Uh, I would love for that guy to come into the camera too, man. Why not? Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. Come on over, bro. Where, where, and then you put the, what I eat in a day on a cruise right up on Leah's face. Bro, have this up more, okay? We don't want to see the Indonesian man. Have it up. You got it right on Leah's face. Sad. Sad as hell, man. Start this video. If you got offended by fat people eating lots of food, True. then this video ain't for you. This is True. That's right, guys. If you guys don't like seeing fat people eat a lot of food, look at this guy looking back like, what the hell are these fucking people doing? Damn. One day on an all-inclusive cruise. So let's get into it. We've come to the breakfast buffet this morning. I got a full English for my first plate. Pan for your first plate is crazy, bro. Damn, for the first plate, that's some crazy-ass language, bro. Big pancake with bacon, syrup, and whipped cream for my second plate. Damn. This was insane. Damn. It feels so American, and it's getting me excited. Don't, to don't, don't, don't ever say that, bro. Don't, don't ever say you feel so American. What you're doing right now is the opposite of American. Okay, they like you. The amount of what do you, the first plate is literally just pancakes and bacon. Why do you think that's American, dude? We don't. I mean, we eat pretty disgusting over here. But you on a different caliber, dude. To come to New York in December for my third plate, I decided to be healthy and balanced. Coming to New York in December, that's not too far. That's not too far from me, dude. I might have to go see what's up. It's out my breakfast with three poached. I don't know how I feel about the three poached eggs. Uh, I don't think I like poached eggs. They kind of remind me of like really, really, um, they remind me of like boobs on an old woman almost. Like they're just kind of like under your armpits. You know what I'm talking about? I remember one time, oh man. I remember one time I was having sex with this one girl and she was like underneath me. And then like I got up to look. And then her boobs were gone. And I was like, what is going on? What happened? And then she was like, what do you mean? I was like, where are your boobs? And she was like, oh, hold on. And then she just did one of these and one of these and then went. And then she was like, see? And I was like, oh, okay. But it was very scary in the moment. And I definitely became flaccid after that. But anyway. Eggs, wobbly, wobbly, and a piece of toast. And these were by far the best eggs I've ever had in my life. They just, they're not even seasoned. They're just basic ass eggs, dude. 
They, they, is, it, aren't poached eggs literally just like cracking eggs into some boiling water? These were the best eggs you've ever had, dude. Clearly, you don't know any black people. Be wobbly and a piece of toast. And these were by far the best eggs Unseasoned I've ever had in my eggs, life. Bro. Have you ever seen such Basic a good egg? Basic ass fucking boiled eggs, dude. Tom Bosom. Oh my god, the best eggs I've ever had. Those were the best eggs, dude. Fucking Jesus Christ, dude. Tell me you don't use seasonings without telling me you don't use seasonings. Pop. There's 30 restaurants on this cruise. Jeez, so man. 30 restaurants setting yourself up for failure, dude. And you somehow managed to always get pizza. Decided on where we were. 30 want. restaurants and you always get pizza, dude. Come on. But eat is really hard because I want to eat everywhere. But we've come to the buffet for lunch. I went for pizza. Dude, I'm a fucking cold ass cheese on this shit, bro. A burrito and some cheesy nachos and this was too good the food on you is insane we've had such a good time with our back she's honestly the loveliest girl and we haven't stopped laughing the whole time we're definitely friends for life and we're already planning our next trip away together i'm thinking the four of us should go to benadorm and give sticky vicky Damn. a visit i had some room service for a snack before tea and tonight we've come to the main restaurant i can't remember sometimes what when i when i hear when I, if i hear Corey go we had some room service i just kind of imagine a guy showing up like wearing like the butler outfit but he's not wearing anything else below the waist and he just kind of swings it in you know what i'm talking about i just i don't know dude that's just kind of like what i imagine when he said that like it's a gay it's a gay fest you know what i'm talking about like the room service is is feeding you more than just food what it's called i had tomato soup for starters and i couldn't decide Crazy. on what main to get out Damn, with dude you're gonna eat that shit just like that is this how you eat it is this, are you supposed to pick it up by the bone and just slide it in your throat? Pasta or the lamb tops. But then I remembered I didn't have to make a God choice. I just damn. got both. YOLO. God damn, bro. You know what I don't understand? Can somebody please tell me if I'm wrong about this? I think this is such an irrelevant thing to do. You're, you're literally coating the outside of the cup with chocolate, and I can see it perspirating, meaning like it's hotter out here. So the chocolate is going to melt on the outside, and it, your hands are supposed to touch the outside of the cup. I just don't, I'll never understand how so many people can disturb the barrier in between the food. I, I just never understood. It's like when you have uh, a hot dog or like a cheeseburger and they coat it with cheese or something else and you just disturbed it. The entire purpose of the bun was to have a barrier between you and the food. So that way you can pick it up without getting your hands dirty or messy or whatever, right? But people disturb that and they think they're doing something special or they think they're cool by having stuff on the outside of it. It looks cool, but it's dumb. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. You're literally just, you're contaminating the entire thing with this outside chocolate shit. It's gonna melt on your hands. So fucking dumb. By the way, how many fucking calories is that, bro? Jesus Christ, it's a whole fucking, what is this? Is this brownie on the top, bro? Chocolate, ice cream, and brownie, dude? Jesus, man. Tomorrow, we're going to try out the American restaurant. I'm so excited for that. Me what is the American restaurant? Didn't you have... What do we eat here in America? Like, I guess cheeseburgers, dude. Isn't that, like, our entire thing? What? I don't know, dude. Cheeseburgers and diabetes, I guess. And Neil went know, for a romantic ice cream date. Sucking off a 600-pound person. I don't know. What do we do here? Whilst everyone else watched Mean Girls, and then we met them at the end for a five-minute catch-up before bed. They do movies under the stars. How cool is that? It's not really that cool. You're literally just watching, like, Netflix outside, but I guess true. If there's any specific things you want me to show you whilst we're on the cruise, then... Gee, then... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Four individual sodas. Is there a McDonald's on this cruise? I've been seeing these people getting some breakfast sandwiches from McDonald's quite a bit. Can you imagine traveling to Spain, not getting anything, any of the luxuries from Spain or anything like that? And you're on a cruise and you still somehow manage to eat macaes. Dude, people tell me all the time, they go, David, they're not a reflection of people in the UK. We don't eat McDonald's to the same degree they do. Then why the fuck are they eating it so often? They're literally on a cruise right now and somehow they managed to get a sausage, egg, and cheese. We know the midnight munchies kicked in, so we ordered room service again, and this egg McMuff was to die for. What it's just an egg McMuffin, dude. I, can you imagine literally getting an all expenses paid trip where you can literally eat whatever you want in room service 24-7 and you order an egg McMuffin? Love is all. Why eat in a day on an all-inclusive cruise? I'm still full from eating so much last night, so I've gone for a light breakfast this morning. This is light, huh? This is light beans, two eggs. How many hash browns is that, bro? What are those hot dogs right there? Dude, this is light for you? That's all you gotta say, bro. I believe in a full English, five hash browns. Nah, bro. You, nah, you fucking me up with that one, dude. Your stomach about to be straight up bubbling after that. Five fucking hash browns and a toast coated in butter. God damn, bro. Unmelted ass butter, too, bro. Ooh, man. That toast looked like I got a yeast infection, dude. You out here talking about some five hash browns and that's light for you?
God damn, bro. Two sausages, a bit of bacon, beans and toast. You'll only add one plate of breakfast. Well, only one plate, but that whole entire plate is like 20 pounds. Breakfast each. We put the skinny in skinny legends. We're having such a good time on the cruise. It's so posh on you. I feel like the real life sweet. Yeah, every day you got to get pizza, bro. I get it. I like pizza as much as the next guy. I think it's great. But every day you getting pizza, dude. These people are literally like just going, just themselves are getting the pizza. Life on deck. Nobody They're else. Going out for nobody else in this entire cruise is getting pizza besides that. Cocktails and tea tonight. But me and Beck were hungry. So we've come to the buffer. We got some kebab and pizza. Every and fucking day, dude, you got to get pizza. Shared some cheesy nachos. If you've got any cruise related questions, please leave them in the comments below. Why you only eat things that you eat already? Why don't you, why don't you try to investigate your mouth a little bit? Why don't you try to, I don't know, dude, use your deductive abilities and try to figure out there's something that you've never eaten before on the cruise that you can get since it's literally free why do you keep consistently getting the same stuff over and over and over again oh and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can for our cocktails tonight we've come to spellbound i got a black is that a black magician Comments below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can for our cocktails tonight we've come to pretty cool bro i've never really seen a black magician before dude um Pretty cool. Pretty cool to have a black magician, dude. That's a novelty. To spellbound and it's a magic evening they do the wickedest cocktails ever and they put on a proper Becky don't seem like the type of girlie that has cocktails there. Damn, Becky. Hold up, man. You over here putting them right on the table like that? Becky wide, man. Becky real wide, dude. She got a lot of... She she wider. She wider as a person. I think she does have ge genetically bigger bones than most people. A show for us. Loads. I know that's like a meme where people go, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. I think Becky is big boned and also big. Magic tricks. I'm not going to give too much away. You'll have to book yourself. I kind of like these outfits, though. I like the, the, the like, speakeasy vibe. Like, you're dressing up like this is the 1920s I'll have to or come something. And see. It's like, you know, I'm about to get called out for my tax fraud or something like that. Charlie's launch day. If you haven't already seen, she's releasing the first and only pink tan in the world. Can somebody let me know when you tan, right? Naturally, obviously. You're tanning to get browner, right? To get the effects of the sun. What the fuck are you going to use for pink tan? Like, I guess you could tan your butthole to make it pink, I guess, because, like, people don't like brown buttholes, even though it makes sense that there'd be a brown butthole, but I understand it. But why the fuck would there be something for pink? Like, what in what circumstance are you ever using pink tanner? Maybe I just don't understand, dude. I've never used tanner in my life, with the exception of the sun. So, uh, but that's, like, organic tannin. These people are, like, literally spraying it in their hand and just, like, you know, applying it across their face and stuff like that. What are you using for pink, though? Like, pink tannin. It's got to be just for your butthole, I guess. It's a collab with Grey's Tan, and she's been working so hard on it for the last year. We're I wonder what they mean by, like, you've been working hard on it. It's not like she was in the factory, like, putting the, you know, com compiling the, the stuff together and investigating on what which, like, combination of chemicals made the appropriate pink tanner right that's got it that that can't be what they mean by that but maybe it's like she worked behind the scenes for it i don't know we're all super proud of her well done, that looks like a butthole Holly. we've come to the american restaurant for dinner tonight God to celebrate damn. and we got everything on the menu Jeez, i can't remember bro. what it's all called but i have done a video for it so i'll edit it and post it soon we then went out for more drinks we all got absolutely spangled we had afters in our hotel room and did shit becky cannot be here dude just everybody here progressively getting fucking hammered consistently dude and becky's never to be found which is good for her Bro, she ain't that type of person. Those are gin shots. I cannot stand gin. And then when everyone left, there was only one thing for it. Late night shenanigans. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, though. I'm not. I'm not hey, shit loads of room service. I did a drunk eat with us, but I think we took it a bit too far. Yeah, no so I'm not sure if shit, I'm going to post Jesus, it or not. Man. At lunchtime, I'm going to show you what we got. I'm being mindful today, so I'm only having one plate. Yeah, they're really going overboard, bro. One plate should be obviously the, the maximum that you eat per meal. Am I wrong, dude? Unless it's like a special occasion, like it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. Why the fuck are you going for more than just one plate? Why is everything you're eating so incredibly brown? It's just like various flavors of brown, dude. There's never any color to anything he eats. Um, I've got lizard. Even when you're on holiday, there, there are plenty of times where you can literally go into any restaurant, right? There's over 30 restaurants on this, this entire cruise. How come I always see you eating the same shit every single fucking day, bro? Literally, macaroni and cheese, french fries, I'm guessing lasagna, I, I'm guessing french fried bites, and a chicken tender? Every day, bro? You can eat this at the house! Why even bother coming on the cruise if you're just gonna eat the same stuff? Dania chips, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, and fish goujons. Show us what you got. <gasps> Becky! 
Becky, what are you doing? I got chicken parmo, which I'm so excited for. Mac and cheese, some chicken nuggets. And yeah, it's so crazy that Becky real deal be looking like she's 40 without that filter, man. But I think it's her own fault, dude. Because that filter, filters are out so much. And uh, I just like, it, you don't see anything on her face. She just looks like literal peanut butter. It's like as smooth as peanut butter, dude. Smooth, uh, smooth, no textured. But when she does have texture, she looks significantly older. And I feel like I wouldn't feel that way if I didn't see her with the filter. Some chips. Stunning. I've got a plate full of mac and cheese. He put a tiny bit on and I was like, more, more, more. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I got a beef brisket, chips. Look at those chips. Look at all that on there. Ooh. And I've got some fish fingers. Look oh, fishy. <laughs> Nuggets. Sorry, mm. Baker, I've just seen Lasagna. Damn. That should look dry as fuck, bro. That's the driest lasagna I've ever seen in my life, bro. You can just pick it up like that? God damn, bro. And some mac and cheese. Again, if that mac and cheese could be picked up like that, that's not good mac and cheese. How long that should been sitting in the vat, bro? That's what I want to know, man. Now, this should probably been sitting there since last night. And you just kind of showed up. <laughs> they were like, whatever. These people don't have taste buds. Throw whatever you want on the plate. They don't care. Not so so good. good. Oh. Where's Becky at? She on the go. Becky, girl, dude. Damn, man. They kind of going overboard on that on that cruise, bro. But you know what? All the people that were saying that they were going to do other shit on that cruise besides eat, I knew it. I mean, what? I knew it, bro. It was too obvious. These people are consistently always drinking and eating. Why would they do anything other than that? Especially knowing that it's free. They have no other reason not to do that. So I called it. I'm going to die on a hill. I knew that was going to happen. I knew they was going to drink a ton of alcohol and they were going to finish themselves off orally with sensational foods and disgusting Neapolitan stuff in their mouth. They're never going to go outside their boundaries to eat anything. That's not what they already eat. Uh, even though it's 30 plus restaurants, they still got there and they still get the macais. You can't make it up. Dude. It is what it is for these people. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching today's videos uh i love you so much thank you i appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all that stuff i'd appreciate tremendously if you watch today's video completely and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in burger i'll leave up to you how to spell that i don't, I don't know how to spell it but it's burger down below in the comment section so i'll know that you're an amazing beautiful spectacular person and you are a really beautiful amazing spectacular organism a very adjective filled person everything about you is ad adjective filled you have so many great qualities about you the way you um, moisturize yourself the way you drink water the way you properly put spoons inside cups and stir them and sometimes not making that clinking noise when you hit the side I love that about you I really do I think that's an amazing trait I love when you chew your mouth isn't open that's awesome by the way that's actually super valuable of a human skill thank you anyway guys socials will be listed down below um enjoy the rest of your day guys peace